But as we've been telling you all this morning, peaceful protests turning not so peaceful and even massively violent last night with police cars set on fire, windows smashed. And obviously, this all happened in Atlanta, Georgia. So joining us now is former executive director of the National Diversity Coalition for Donald Trump, Bruce Lavelle. All right, Bruce, good to have you, man. Uh, this is your this is your turf. This is you you know yeah. this area very very well. You own a business right in the area where these po protesters yeah. broke out. What's going on? Yeah, well, it's once again, uh, like you said earlier in your commentary, it's the the lack of and the push for defund that cultural that climate. You saw uh, what we dealt with the autonomous zones when we had the the former riot. Uh, that happened when this little girl got killed off University Boulevard. You saw when the Wendy's got torched and burned to the ground. I was actually there on site while it was still smoldering and covered that particular story. Um, so, you know, the list goes on, Carl. The unfortunate part of this is, and watch this, here's an example. You've had uh, uh, Mr. White on your show that was trying to advocate to build, uh, to get the city of, quote, Buckhead, which is bumps right there in that neighboring area right mm -hmm. there. Uh, to get more local control, like we have in Dunwoody, Sandy Springs, uh, Brookhaven, which is north of Buckhead, local control city. The, this is another reason why you need more and more troops on the ground. But most of all, I saw Andre Dickens get up there and make that, we're going to get you, this is Sinat. You saw to the far right was the district attorney, Fannie Willis. Watch this, Newsmax viewer. She is too busy chasing a phone call and subpoenaing everybody God knows who uh, putting the valuable resources, watch this, valuable resources on that particular case instead of trying and convicting these people and criminals and, and <clears throat> making sure they stay in jail and go through their criminal justice process. That's, yeah. that's so this is the point. other thing. Yeah, the other thing, real quick, the sheriff of this county, the sheriff is the most powerful person, elected official in public safety anywhere in the land. They are nowhere to be found. Butch Conway, former sheriff of Gwinnett, I know you're watching this. The sheriff has to make, can make a judgment discretion call. I, all right, everybody at nightfall, everyone off the street, no protesting because of safety concerns. We can't see as well. He or she can make a judgment discretion call. That's the thing right there. They got to get a nip on this and stop allowing this free for all of people coming from all out of town to come in here and do this here. And watch this, guys. Um, and Newsmax investigators, please follow the folks that got arrested and follow the paper trail on their dockets to see what type of punishment they're going to get. Bruce, I got to tell you, I think you <laughs> summed it up very, very well. You have a combination of yeah. a bunch of things, as you mentioned, right? We started with the defund police movement, but then it was lack of prosecutions. There was a lack of bail. And if you did get bail, there were funds coming in to pay your bail. Yep. And basically, no one was held accountable. That's where we're at now. Thank you so much, Bruce Lavelle, for joining Keep us. Keep your business safe down there, sir. Hey, guys, it's Rob Carson. Your retirement funds are being threatened with even more losses from record inflation, recession, and skyrocketing interest rates. Fortunately, the highly trained specialists at American Hartford Gold can show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. If you call them right now, it's a special offer. They will give you a free gold coin on your first qualifying order, so don't wait. Call 866-935-4309. That's 866-935-4309 or text Newsmax to 65532. That's Newsmax to 65532.